Hello you, welcome to my first set and now first review. Sorry about the audio, it's going to be kind of clunky this time around. The reason I'm talking so fast is because I have about 8 minutes of footage to compact down into 5. In these videos I'll be going over cost, comparing it to what it looks like in real life, stability, pieces and what I like and don't like about it. Challenge you to beat my time of 6 minutes and 54 seconds. Price. Okay, so to get your shock over and done with, we're going straight to price, and the price is roughly $12 in Australia. And if you don't use Australian dollar, just go to Google and type in what is 12 Australian dollars in Canada, Brazil, um, UK, wherever you're from, and you should get an answer. How does it compare? Okay, so the images of Japanese tree frogs I was able to find online, they look pretty similar. As you can see now, and straight away you'll be able to see this brown line going from the very back of its head, passing its eyes until it gets to its nostrils, which the model doesn't have. I don't know, maybe it was a designer's choice, but other from that, it's like pretty well done. It's good. Stability and fragile. How stable something is and fragile something is, is a big one when it comes to nanoblock. I'd say around 90% of nanoblock sets are fragile, and it's about 50-50 when it comes to stability. I'm happy to say in my very happy sounding voice that they smashed the stability on this one, which is a good thing. This model is not fragile at all. You can see me pushing it on the ground. I was shaking it before. It's very strong. If you're going to have this model without its black base, it's going to be a bit of a different story, but we'll get to that later. If for some strange reason you want to display this model on its head, you can. Or its back, you can. Or you can display it on its side, though this will happen. Um, I don't really know why you'd want to do that. Remember a moment ago when I said it would be a different story if you removed the black base? Well, we're removing the black base. It's still mainly strong without the black base, it's just the feet that you want to be aware of because they're only being held on by one, I'm going to call it a stud. You can see the it's not collapsing on itself because of the transparent pieces underneath its belly. Pieces! Now that I've said pieces, you might be wondering how many pieces this set has. Boom. Those are all the pieces. Yep. Mm-hmm. Since the last image wasn't very helpful, this one will be. You might want to pause it because we're on a tight schedule. My thoughts. Okay, I'll start off by saying the things I do like about this set. So we can end off on a sour note. So I like the choice of colours for this set. I like that it comes with a base and it's black. What I like about this set most of all is all the joy it's brought me. I say these words in my very happy sounding voice. As I said at the start of the video, this was my first set and I spent ages trying to pick a nanoblock set, my first one, and I chose this one and I'm very happy I did. I've probably taken it apart about 10 times now, I've built so many things out of it. Wow, I sound like I'm almost gonna cry. <laughs> it's time now to tell you what I absolutely hate about this model. Okay, there's nothing that I hate, just some things that I think they could have done a better job on. Like these pieces on the... above the back legs. These, the three, they just stick out a bit and they don't look very realistic once you start to look at them. They look fine from top, but underneath, they don't look very right. And side on view, um, also doesn't look very realistic. Just a little thing here, but what um, annoys me a bit is on the instructions, it shows to put your feet like that and then put it on the base. Like, you don't need a base if you're going to have your feet like that. Yes, it looks more realistic, but... Don't... No, 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 no. And, um... That's all I have to say.